you get my shoes? Okay, you ready? Yes, Are you ready to go? Bye bye. Yeah. Alright, babe, she's yours. I want to talk to her. Okay, but we gotta cover her up when we go outside. It's very cold. No. Yes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I can't eat a mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. She's on this side. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna tickle your nose, okay? in there. <laughs> Did it tickle? Yeah. I told you it's not going to hurt you. Hey guys, welcome back to Number One Family. <laughs> so this morning we ended up getting tested for the C word. I don't want to say it because YouTube is really like picky about this topic, but we did get tested this morning because, why babe, wanna explain to him? We got the Rona. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> why did we get tested? Because people at work don't know how to keep themselves healthy. Benny got called a couple days ago and basically he came in close contact with somebody who tested positive at work. So they put Benny on quarantine, so we have him home for like two weeks, which is pretty nice, but it also sucks because we obviously had to get tested. Hopefully everything comes back negative. Even Jade had to get tested. This is actually like our second time getting tested too. I don't think I've ever told you guys, but yeah, this was our second time getting tested. We got tested at the same place as last time. And they don't like put it all the way up in your nose like I've seen in other videos. They kind of just like put it like this much like far in our nose and then they just like kind of like scraped it inside of our nose so it wasn't bad at all even the girls got it done jade got it done like i said it was just like a little nose scrape right girls it didn't hurt at all yeah did it tickle yeah and then for some reason too they gave layla a mouth swab as well I don't know why she was the only one that got that. So I will keep you guys updated. I'm not gonna keep you guys hanging at all because our test results should come in around like 24 hours to 36 hours, I believe. So I'll just let you guys know like at the end of this vlog whenever our testing results come in. So we got that done this morning and since we're on quarantine, we can't go anywhere. I have to place an Instacart order to get some groceries since we are stuck at home. So I have to do that. I also want to work in the nursery which is in our bedroom as you guys know i want to go through jade's clothes because she is officially outgrowing all of her newborn stuff so i want to take all of that stuff out of the dresser and then go through like all of the zero to three months clothes make sure like all the tags are off because we did get some new clothes from my mom get some laundry done and then just like go through her clothes like i said and just Make sure everything that's in there fits her now and take out all the stuff that doesn't fit her. I feel like she's growing. She's now, she's like almost eight weeks, huh? My little baby's getting so big. What else do we have planned today? I have to homeschool Layla since it is a weekday, so we gotta do that. And I also have some packages that I wanna go through. So that's pretty much what we have planned for today. And I'm over here breastfeeding Jade right now. Are you going to help me a wine? Yeah, you can help me. Is that sake? Sure, thank you. So I did laundry yesterday. This is like a mixture of 
Layla, Aurora, and Jade's. So before I put like all of this away, I'm gonna kind of just go through it because most of this stuff she's been wearing like the past week obviously so there's a lot of like newborn sizing in here so i want to go through it and then here's what jade's drawers look like i have videos um previously that i filmed when i was pregnant of me like organizing everything in here for the most part everything stayed the same as you can see see like all of these like empty spots right here is just like stuff that's in the laundry right now but for the most part, everything is still very organized, so I'm pretty impressed with myself because previously with my other girls, the dresser just turns into a disaster slowly, but everything is still pretty good. So these are like swaddles, um, more swaddles and blankets. There's like a little lovey back here. The only difference is that I added my breast pads in here and then some more blankets and then washcloths and then burp cloths go right here. And then this is all newborn right here, so I have to go through all of this as well. And then this is zero to three months. This is zero to three months as well, so I wanna go through that. I also have a bunch of zero to three months clothing inside of my closet because like I said, some family members have purchased Jade some clothes since she's been born. So the clothes have just been slowly piling up in my closet, so I just gotta go through it take out these ones and then add the ones from my closet in here and then i have some more like things in here that i added since being pregnant i just recently bought this for jade she's still a little too small for it because she's not playing with any toys yet but benny's work ended up giving us a gift card for jade so i just bought her a whole bunch of like random things and then this is just like all of her pacifier things i have so many different pacifiers and jade doesn't take like any of these she only takes one specific pacifier i'll have it linked down below because it's been amazing if your baby is only breastfed and you're having trouble finding a pacifier definitely give this one a try because she took it immediately and she loves it i have like ryan and rose pacifiers she doesn't like these i have this one i think this is the itsy ritzy one she doesn't like that one i have this one by i think the brand is louis she doesn't like this one either which i was so sad about because this is so cute it looks like a little flower mm -hmm. so i'm really sad she didn't like that one but she won't take it and then another ryan and rose pacifier and i also have this little one i don't even know where i got this one i think it came in like um one of the little like packets that you get whenever you register you make like a baby registry at target i think this came in like the little packet that you get from that she doesn't like it and then these ones i have so many of these little bibs pacifiers and these are the worst ones like she does not like these and i'm so sad about it as well because they're like so aesthetically pleasing and they go with so many outfits because they come in so many different like cool colors like unique colors so i'm really sad she didn't like these ones but she just does not like them at all she doesn't keep them in her mouth and she actually gags on some of them their nipples like the sizing on their nipples are so inconsistent so here, let me see if I can show you guys. These are all the same size, by the way. They're all like, I think they're like zero to three months or newborn or something like that. But they're all the same size. So you would think the nipples would be the same shape, right? But they're not. I don't know if, thank you, babe. <laughs> Aurora's my little helper today. You helping me? So I don't know if you guys can tell, but their nipples, like the sizing on them is just so inconsistent and some of them are like odd shaped this one is a major like difference compared to all of the rest of them like so it's really long i don't know if you guys can tell that but like they just they don't match up so i don't blame her for not liking these so although they are aesthetically pleasing they just didn't work for us so now i have all of these pacifiers and i don't know what to do with them I don't even think I've told you guys, but my mother-in-law is actually pregnant, so maybe I will just sanitize these and pass them along to her. Because these are all brand new, like, Jade doesn't use them, obviously, so they're kind of just sitting in this drawer. But anyways, 
kind of went on a whole pacifier rant here. So yeah, back to the clothes situation. I have beanies over here. These are my absolute favorite to put on Jade. They're a little big right now, but they're just so cozy and soft and they're just so cute because it has a rainbow. You guys always go nuts over these every time I show them, so I'll make sure to link them down below. I have little booties here. And then I have bows, but it's so cold out, like I said, so I haven't really been putting bows on her because beanies are just a lot warmer. I have socks. I think this one was empty when I was pregnant because I didn't have any socks for her. I had to buy her a whole bunch of socks because it drops down really cold at night. Even though we have the heater running at night, sometimes I put these underneath her footy jammies just to keep her extra warm. So I have all of those. And then this is something that's new in here as well. This is my Solly baby wrap. I've worn it in a couple of my videos, so you guys have seen that. So yeah, I think that is the only difference in these drawers that you guys haven't seen. I've still been using the Kikaru. And then I don't remember if I've showed you guys these, but I have these on the dresser as well. I just recently got these in the mail. They're like pacifier cases because I kind of just have a pacifier thrown in my bag. And it's a silicone pacifier, so like lint and stuff sticks all over it. So I want to put one of her pacifiers in there for my diaper bag. I have her little like name announcement sign right here. I have to order her like a little keepsake box, that way I can put that away. And then this is the little Kikaru strap. I have a little essential oils roller that a mom made me. I'll link her YouTube down below because she does have a channel as well. But she made me that because I've been suffering from a lot of postpartum headaches. So that's actually been helping whenever I put that on my temples. And then I added this in here recently. It's a little hand sanitizer. That way whenever I am done changing Jade, I can just sanitize my hands. I have some lotion. And then my little baby essentials pouch. I have like her little nose cleaner, um, a nail file in here, some nail clippers her brush, so just all of her little essentials. And then, what is this? Oh, this was a little gift that Benny's work gave Jade. So I just kind of have that there for now. And then I have a little changing pad right here. Whenever I change Aurora in the room and it's kind of cold, the Kikaru can get kind of cold to the touch, so I don't wanna have like any accidents by making her cold. So whenever it is cooler in the house, I just throw this on top of the Kikaru and then I change her. And then I have some wipes. I had some diapers in here, but I haven't refilled it, so I should probably do that as well. This is also new as well. This is a little humidifier, and it's been amazing. I forgot to shut it off from this morning. I just kind of have it on a step stool right now, so I bought a cart. That's one of the packages that I have to open today and put it together. That way I can set this up like somewhere else. And yeah. That's what it looks like. This is Jade's crib over here. I kind of just have this thrown right here for now, but this is like her little toy bin. Eventually, whenever she gets more toys, I'm sure she's going to get a bunch of toys from her grandparents and stuff for Christmas, even though she's too small. But that is what this bin is going to be used for because I already have this one over here, which is for her laundry. That one is going to be for toys eventually. And then this is her crib. I've been swaddling her at night. I've actually been using a Velcro one. This is from the brand Ellie's & Co. I absolutely love these ones. They've been lifesavers. It's literally just like a Velcro one. So you stick your baby in here. You put this over their legs. You tuck their arm. And then you put this one over. It Velcros. And then you just take these Velcro straps, do it like that, and then voila, your baby is swallowed. You guys kind of get the idea. So I've been using those ones. Like I showed you guys when I was pregnant, I ended up buying all of these beautiful muslin swaddles because they were my absolute favorite for Layla and Aurora. But as we all know, every baby is different. And even though I spent all of that money on all of these beautiful muslin swaddles. Jade does not like them. She breaks out of them within like a minute 
and it's just like a disaster. She just cannot be contained in the muslin swaddles. So that's why I ended up buying the Velcro ones. They actually came in a two pack. So here is the other one that I've been using. It's just white and then it has pink stars. So I will try to link as much as I can down below. I know I'm kind of like rambling in this vlog showing you guys all the baby things, but I figured I would give you guys an update on how like the nursery situation looks because a few things have changed. So I'm gonna just go through her clothes now. Okay, you do all of the sockies, okay? Why not sockies? So I'm done folding up all of her laundry. I wanted to show you guys the size comparison now that Jade is awake. So here she is. Say hi, everybody. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Say hi. hi. <laughs> He's so cute. So she's wearing zero to three months right now. As you can see, it's a little bit big on her. But they fit a lot better than the newborn because the newborn are pretty small on her. Oh, he's so cute. So that's Jade now. And then this is one of her newborn outfits. Just look at that size comparison. Look how much she's grown. Look at that. I can't. I wish. Aww. I swear she was just this tiny yesterday. They grow so fast. They really do. <laughs> and this was actually sent to us. This outfit right here was actually sent to us by the Moran family too. Yeah, it's little mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take out all of the newborn clothes. I'm not crying, you guys. You're crying. <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah, it's gonna be sad looking through all her clothes she used to be wearing and then. I know, I swear she grew so fast. I know, babies grow so fast, but like in one place. This one's so They do. I honestly just want to keep them all, but Jade is probably our last baby, so we won't need all of this. And like I said, my mother in law is actually pregnant. Benny's actually getting a little sister. So crazy, right? But I'll probably pass down all of this stuff to his little sis. I'll probably keep this one because we announced Jade to everybody in this little pumpkin outfit. So I'll probably keep this one. Throw it in like her memory box. But it's just so sad parting with all of the little newborn things. You're such a big girl. Huh? With your fluffy hair. <laughs> Benny gave her a bath yesterday. So her hair is freshly washed and it's so poofy. And it makes me laugh because Aurora's hair was like that when she was a newborn. It was always sticking up because it was just so fluffy. Mommy, hmm. I think when Jay gets older, you think you want another baby? Do you have another baby? I don't know, baby. Jade's pregnancy was really hard on me. And then after that baby, then another one, and then after that baby, mm -hmm. another one, and then after that baby. You want more babies? I want nine million baby sisters. You want nine million baby sisters? And That's then, a lot of baby sisters. And then when they grow up, I have another sister, and then I can remember when they were tiny. Oh my <laughs> What about you, Rory? Yeah. You want more babies? I nine million. How about nine million jillion? Yeah. Jillion babies. You guys are crazy. <laughs> no more time with you, baby. Weeks and months and years they pass. And I knew it wouldn't last. When tears dream down my face, my mama said.
So here's what her drawer is looking like right now. I got rid of all of the newborn stuff and I put it in this bag. That way I can pass it along. So this is all zero to three months now. I still have some more in the closet, so I gotta go grab it. But out of this drawer, I took all of this stuff out. This is also all zero to three months, so she can use it right now. But I'm actually going to hang it in the closet. That way I can free up space in here. I'm gonna just keep like sleepers in here. And then this little pile right here is pants. And then this pile that I took out is all shirts so i figured it'd be better to free up the drawer that way i can hang up all of this stuff because i have a little spot in my closet that i cleared out for her when i was pregnant and there's a bunch of like hangers in my closet that just are not being used so i figured it would be better to hang up like all of her shirts and body suits and just keep sleepers and pants in here just trust your head and your heart that's what my mama said i wish i could freeze this moment just never let it end walking through the snow when you're taking my hand all of those late nights on your couch when we just talked until midnight i just wish i could freeze this moment Remember, Everly by. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold up, hold up. We gotta be careful, don't. Yeah, we gotta be very gentle with it. Because it's a picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what it is? It's so beautiful. It's yeah, it's the, all the constellations. You know how I told you that the stars move every day? Yeah. And every night? Yeah. This is a picture of what the stars look like when Everly was born. So it's a way to remember what the sky looked like whenever she was born. And then it says where she was born. Torrance Memorial Medical Center. And her birthday. August 15th, 2019. That's pretty cool, huh? Why does it look like they connected? Because, so that's how, so these are constellations. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. But, it has her name and everything down here in the bottom. That's pretty awesome though. Someone's not having it today. So I had to put her in the carrier because I'm still not done working in my room. I still have to go through the zero to three month clothes. I'm probably not going to wash it today because she is just not wanting to settle down. So I'm probably going to just take it out of my closet, take off any tags, and then just throw them in the laundry basket and then I'll probably wash the load tomorrow. But I at least want to just take it out of my closet because, like I said, she is starting to wear zero to three months. So I just really want to get use out of all the clothing I have and kind of just see everything that i have i still have to also build that cart that i told you guys that i bought because i want to put it on the side of my bed and do like a little bedside like nursery organization thing so i want to take this out and then fit the cart right here because this right here like i put so much stuff on the side of my bed at night so this isn't really cutting it for me because i can only put stuff on the top so I feel like having the cart will give me a lot more space. If you guys remember from my previous videos, this is my closet situation. So I added this little cubby shelf in here for extra storage for baby girl. So this is all of Jade's stuff. So there's kind of like a designated spot for things in here. I just have my boppy pillow cover in here in case I ever have to take it on the go. And then I have like some extra things in here. So there's like a teething mitt in here. There's an extra changing mat in here. So this is kind of just like random miscellaneous things. This one is where I keep all of my wipes. And then this one in here is like my electric breast pump. All of its parts. This one over here, I have an extra pacifier in here. 
I have extra breast pump parts and then I have um, milk storage bags. And then these two right here is where I've kind of just been shoving like new clothes that we've been getting from like friends and family. So this is all of the stuff that I was talking about. So there's just a lot in here. So I have to take both of these out and kind of just go through it. How cute is this little Sherpa bonnet that I bought her the other day? It's a little big right now, but it's just, it's so cute. Here's all of the stuff that I ended up pulling out of the closet. So this basket is all zero to three months. So I'm going to wash this another day because it's a really small load. I thought I had more zero to three months, but this is... It right here but this is more than enough i try to keep it as minimal as possible because with my other girls i just bought way too much clothes and then a lot of it i didn't get any use out of it so this is what i have so i'm going to wash this another day i'll probably add it to layla and rory's laundry whenever i have to wash theirs so this is going to eventually go back in that drawer in the empty spot that i showed you guys and then this bin is still full. I looked through all of this clothes, but it's three months and up. So I'm not going to put these ones in the dresser right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the closet, wash this another day. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started on that cart that I was telling you guys. Hi, Marie. <laughs> I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no brake lights We can travel the world so just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next battery ended up dying but I got it built and this thing was a pain in the butt to build but I got it so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the side of my bed and then see where I want that little table because I want to use it for the humidifier It fits a lot better than that other table that was right here. The other table was kind of like wedged in between my bed and the crib. So this kind of frees up a little bit more space and I have a ton of storage now. I'm not sure if this is how like I'm going to keep the setup of like everything that I have on it. So on the top, I just have my diaper caddy and then I have this little baby bum brush. This is for like whenever you use like ointment, that way you don't get it like underneath your fingernails and all that stuff. So I have that. I also have her little vitamin D drop since I am breastfeeding. I also have a mug in here to put my haka in case I ever pump in the middle of the night because the haka that I have doesn't have like the little suction base so it can kind of like tip over if it's full so I use a mug. I also have some hand sanitizer for late night diaper changes. Pouch right here that I keep um, like breastfeeding stuff in here so let me show you guys. So in this pouch I just have a sharpie that way I can write like the ounces and stuff on my breast milk bags and then I just have a bunch of breast milk bags. I have a little random water wipes travel size thing in here. So that's what's in there. And then in this pouch, I have a bulb syringe, another nose thing, and then some gas drops, some diapers, a changing pad, some wipes, 
And then I just keep a nursing cover in here in case we ever have like visitors. Obviously we aren't having any right now, but I just have that in there for now because it's an extra one. So yeah, that is the little cart that I have on the side of my bed. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I got everything done in the nursery for the most part. I still have a few things that I wanna do, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that another day. I will put a little clip at the end of this video whenever we get our testing results back because I don't wanna leave you guys hanging on it for a positive or negative. So I'll definitely let you guys know. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Ram Family. And make sure you hit that bell, that way you always get notified every single time we upload. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing.